Hello again everyone, Edwin Lerner back once again in this YouTube astrological segment. I'm going to be talking about transit Venus square opposition or in conjunct one's natal black moon laws. Now when we're talking about transits that involve Venus, this could be about love, enjoyment, uh, money, possessions, resources, values, self-worth, self-esteem, and how one feels about oneself. Now, when the transit of Venus is basically making an adverse aspect to one's natal black moon nodes, and when I elaborate on this, when I'm talking about basically uh, adverse aspect, the square and opposition aspects, of course, are adverse and negative. The in conjunct aspect, uh, though it's, it's seen as neutral, it can require an adjustment. It, uh, adjustments can be tension filled, they can be exasperated. So when you're talking about this aspect collectively, it's basically an adverse aspect is how I see it. But anyway, uh, when you have this transit of Venus again, making a basically an adverse aspect to one's natal of black moon levels, this could manifest in the love, the enjoyment, money, possessions, <laughs> excuse me, resources, um, values, a self-worth, self-esteem, how one feels about oneself, may conflict uh, at times. It could be with the negative manifestation uh, of the placement. It could be, it could be you're in a you know, love or connection of relationship. It could be a significant friendship that, you know, might be strained maybe because of the expression of the ne negative manifestation of the placement. It's, um, It'll say if your natal black moon lilt is in Taurus, it could be a very, you know, maybe an avaricious or even greedy nature, or maybe not coming through on monetary promises might conflict with a relationship, which could be a significant other, a marriage partner, maybe even us, again, an important friendship. Uh, the black moon lilt is also, I mean, it's the, considered the dark side of the placement. And the thing is, you know, if you have, you know, this could be a situation where you're not, you, know, you might not have the monetary means, maybe in some cases to support, you know, the dark side of the placement. Say if the black moon was in Pisces or the twelfth, there might be some kind of addiction. Or say if you have it in Scorpio in the twelfth house, it could be some sexual addiction. Maybe it's, uh, you know, pornography. Um, you know, and, and, you know, the money might be tight to support it could be a side that you don't want to come out you want suppressed uh, this is again this is the um, the black moon rolls could be connected with that side you you want to suppress and you don't want unveiled and it could be where at this time um, you look at Venus you know, it's connected um, you know with your self worth self-esteem how you feel about yourself and this might be causing you know, issues with the with, with with how you feel about yourself, your self worth at this time, uh, the, that side that you don't want uh, unveiled. You know, the Black Moon Ulthus in Gemini is an example. It could be a very mercurial, you know, flighty. You know, even a side to you you might see is dual natured in some cases. It might be you know uh, somebody you know just the, you know that lacks some. Um, you know, you might lack a lot of persistence. And it might be a side that you don't really want to be unveiled or exposed. And, and these things, maybe it has to do with how you know you feel about yourself and your self-worth and self-esteem. Say if the blood, Daniel Black Moon is in Leo, maybe it has something to do with not being able, you know, say if it's in the Black Moon Wolves in Leo in the fourth house, not being able to be the dominant person in your home life or dealing with somebody that's overly domineering in your home and uh, you know not having much control over it um, it might be uh, factoring into your you know self-worth very adversely at this time now black moon wolf is also can be connected with a, a really a formidable adversary powerful enemy in some cases and this could be a situation you know say if this is like in the seventh house and or in Libra Money might be tight, you know, trying to face a legal, a legal opponent. That's pretty powerful as an example. It can be a situation where you don't really um, maybe value or 
I mean, enjoy dealing with this person at this time. Now, no one's ever going to really be that happy, I understand, dealing with a powerful foe. But this is a time where you really may not feel like, um, like dealing with it, or it might be hard to express your sentiments, you know, though they're, they would be negative about this person at this point in time. And it can be where this person might even have, as far as, again, Venus being connected with your self-worth, your self-esteem, and how you feel about yourself, might have a very negative impact on this at this time. And the Black Moon Old is also connected with the void. It could be that void one feels in one's life. You know, if this is in uh, the zodiac sign Cancer or Andor in the fourth house, it might be something with the home environment or emotional security. It can be, you know, with family, um, it might be a time where this might be causing you, you know, to feel, you know, less worthy about how you feel about yourself. It could be, you know, maybe not having the money to deal uh, with, with that situation or try to make the situation in your home life better uh, for you. Um, it could be issues with compromise and negotiation. Uh, Venus can be about compromise and negotiation, uh, maybe difficult dealing with, say, a powerful adversary or maybe you know, somebody that might even be playing a provocative or prominent role in your life at this time. Uh, the thing is, the Black Moon world is also um, it's connected with suffering as well. And the thing about this is, is that the suffering you may be enduring at this time, if you're if you are enduring anything connected with your uh, black moon oil's placement, it might be, you know, a situation where it might be impacting how you feel about yourself. It could be not having, uh, you know, the money. Maybe a monetary situation might be causing more of this. Whether it's you know you're dealing trying to endure with physical and or emotional suffering at this time. The Black Moon Lilith is also uh, can be connected with death, and this could be, you know, a situation. You know, at this time, I mean, the transit of Venus does not last very long for a prolonged or protracted period. It lasts longer than the Moon, of course. The Moon transits last about 10 hours on average. Uh, the Venus is in days, but anyway, it can be a situation where you know you're. Um, your sentiments and how you feel about the death of something somebody might be a little bit harder to express at this time uh, more so than usual maybe it's harder to accept even a figurative ending of a connection with a relationship which could be a significant other a marriage partner maybe even an important friendship and also, too, um, this is something, too, I mean, black minerals can be connected with fixation and obsession. But so it's important at this time not to be overly, you know, uh, fixated or obsessed with a lover at this time or, or vice versa. One may be uh, very obsessed or fixated with you, which might cause, you know, you to feel somewhat uncomfortable. It can be a situation, too. Again, going back to the fact that the Black Moon Lilith can be associated with somebody that plays a prominent or provocative role in your life scheme, you might not be feeling that love from that person at this time, and the love may be really very far away. I mean, especially I would say if the, if the transit of Venus is opposing your natal uh, Black Moon Lilith, because of course you're talking about 180 degrees, that's the furthest it could be away uh, you know, from a, from a placement. But anyway, another thing too, um, Black Moon Wolves is connected with trauma. It could be physical or emotional trauma. It can be abuse. It can be not having the fu the monetary funds to be able to take care of it at this time. Maybe there has something to do, you know, with the, the abuse that you're enduring. Is there something maybe with your own self-love Maybe it's bringing you down where you don't feel great about yourself because maybe you have to keep dealing with it. Um, another way that this transit may manifest, it could be about not, not loving maybe an opportunity maybe to embrace the higher level of the placement. Hold on a moment, people.
Now, the thing about this is, say if the black moon wolf is in a uh, is an Aquarius, it might be you know trying to embrace it on a higher level, the BML placement by expression of humanitarianism, altruism, selflessness, something maybe making contributions to astrology or computers or electronics as some example of being an innovator. It can be also to where our relationships at this time uh, may conflict perhaps with some trauma you're trying to endeal or uh, you know deal with at this time. Now say for example if your natal uh, black moon wolf is in Scorpio if it's something of a physical nature, it could be something with the bladder, the prostate, the colon, you know, reproductive system, maybe even be something on a psychological, strong psychological level. Um, there may be difficulty at this time finding enjoyment in a person that plays a prominent, pivotal, or provocative role in your life scheme at this time. Let's say, for example, if the uh, natal black moon wolf is in Virgo in the fifth house, it could be you know, a Virgo child or lover. It may be a Virgo sun, moon, or ascended person, or simply one that embodies Virgo characteristics. Um, be somebody that's very persnickety here, pedantic at the, uh, and just somebody that's very punctilious with details as some examples. This could be a situation, too, where you're talking about your self worth which is connected with Venus, may be adversely affected, reading what I said previously, adversely affected by the negative manifestation of the BML position. Say again, if the BML in uh, your natal chart is in Leo, say if it's in the fourth house, it could be dealing with a domineering or arrogant or bombastic person in the home. Maybe it's your own traits that are, that are being expressed in your home life and who you may maybe see yourself at the core as. Um, and these might be, you know, maybe it's affecting how you feel about yourself in a very negative manner. And also to keep in mind that Venus is associated with money, but it's, it's cost and value. It may be harder to ascertain the, the cost in some cases of something like a traumatic, something, uh, something trauma, you know, injury at this time. Say if the natal uh, BML is in Taurus, as an example, it could be something with the throat, neck, esophagus, um, you know, whether it might be, you know, pinched nerve in the neck or, you know, or what have you. If it's in, say, if you have it in um, BML and Capricorn, it could be something with the knees, the bones, the joints, uh, the hamstrings, uh, the gallbladder, as some other examples. But anyway, people. That'll conclude this YouTube astrological segment. Until next time, people, Edwin Leonard saying stay well.